Hi, I'm Pavitra. I'm a data science evangelist at Coiled, and in this video, we'll look at how to parallelize Python code with task delayed. This is one of the first questions that you may have when you start working with task. So what is task delayed? It's a low level task collection that can be used to parallelize any general Python code or custom algorithms. It also supports lazy evaluation which means it creates the logic of your parallel compute immediately, but evaluates it only when necessary. So in this video, we'll learn how to use task delayed and we'll see some examples and best practices. This includes a demo which shows almost 10 times the speed up with task delayed. You can follow along with the code by going to this link. So let's start with some general Python code. Here, we are defining three functions, increment, decrement, and add, which sleep for one second each. Now, if we call these functions one by one, they will be executed sequentially and it will take three seconds. Now, if we call them 10 times, it will take 10 times as long, right? So here we see 30 seconds. This has a lot of potential for parallelism. Not only are increment and decrement independent of each other and can be executed in parallel, this for loop itself can be parallelized. So we'll see how to do that with task delay. So let's start by spinning up a Dask cluster and doing some imports. Now we can wrap our functions with this delayed decorator. This will tell Dask to step in. And note that we are passing the function to delayed and not the result of the function. And here we are just appending all of the results in a list. Now this takes about 4.6 milliseconds. That's super fast. This is because Dask has created the logic of our compute and hasn't evaluated it yet. To see that logic or the task graph, we can call visualize, which shows us this. And we can see here everything in the same layer, like all of these increment and decrement operations, all of these add operations, these will be executed in parallel. Uh, to compute this, we can use compute. And there, within about three seconds, we have a result. And another tiny note here, we gathered all of our results and then called compute just once. So it's good practice to minimize calling compute. Now let's see another example where we parallelize some pandas code with task delay. We are using a data set called checkout subset here. This contains the items checked out from the Seattle public library. Now, if we wrap our pandas read CSV function with delayed, this will read our data set in a lazy fashion. And all the subsequent operations that we do, like this group by and sum here, will also be delayed objects. To get the result, we need to use compute, like we did earlier. So this video was inspired by the Dask documentation, examples, and tutorial, all built by the wonderful Dask community, and you should definitely check out all of these resources. So that was a quick introduction to Dask Delayed. If you have any questions or suggestions, you can reach us on our community Slack or send an email to support at coil.io. Thank you.